From custom movie-themed cars to flashy head-turners that cause everyone's attention on the streets, join us as we explore the surprisingly strange cars driven by 10 Hollywood A-listers. Number 10. Will I Am's Futuristic Dick Tracy Ride Will I Am's custom DeLorean DMC might look like a squashed version of the classic movie car, but that's all part of his unique vision. This crazy Dick Tracy from the future design pays homage to the original with a modern twist. West Coast Customs from Pimp My Ride fame created the car, featuring a sleek aluminum interior and bucket seats for a high-performance feel. Unlike the bright yellow movie car, Will I Am opted for a classic baby blue. This head-turning ride reportedly cost a cool $900,000. Will I Am's love for cars goes beyond collecting. He even founded his own company, I Am Auto. There's a story about a funny appearance on Jay Leno's show where Will I Am discussed a custom design based on new Chrysler parts, which some say resembles a DeLorean even more. While his car knowledge might be debatable, his taste in automobiles is undeniable. Stay tuned to see what outrageous ride Shaq keeps in his garage. Number 9. Jay Leno's Real Life Batmobile Car fanatic Jay Leno, known for his impressive collection, showcased on his show Jay Leno's Garage, owns a true head-turner, the actual tumbler from the Dark Knight movie. This isn't just a movie prop, it's a fully functional beast, reaching speeds of 90 miles per hour. Every inch, from the custom chassis to the roaring engine, was meticulously built from scratch. This isn't your average Batmobile replica. Leno owns the original prototype, taking a year to craft. In total, seven tumblers were built, each serving a specific purpose in filming. While Jay Leno's garage may be off the air, one thing's for sure. Leno has the ultimate ride and maybe some extra time to practice his superhero landings. Number 8. Zach Galifianakis – Skipping the Lambo for a Vespa Forget luxury cars. Zach Galifianakis cruises Venice Beach in style on a mint green Vespa. While it might seem like another quirky Zach moment, his Vespa choice goes beyond just fun. Galifianakis is a big advocate for the environment. This eco-conscious comedian married Quinn Lundberg, co-founder of Growing Voices, a charity focused on sustainable projects. He's also involved with Keep It Clean, so it's no surprise that Zach rides an electric Vespa, a scooter that cuts down on emissions. Zach's Vespa is more than just a ride. It's a statement. Keep on scooting, Zach. Number 7. George Clooney's eco-friendly but not-so-practical Tango T600 George Clooney, a champion for the environment, was an early adopter of electric vehicles. Back in 2005, he cruised around in a Tango T600. While his choice might have sparked interests in EVs, the Tango itself wasn't exactly designed for lovebirds. This ultra-narrow electric car, measuring a mere 39 inches wide, offered barely enough space for, well, one person. Its compact size even meant the battery had to squeeze under the floorboard. On the plus side, it boasted a zippy 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4 seconds and impressive crash worthiness. However, the hefty $100,000 price tag made it a tough sell for most eco conscious drivers. Number 6 50 Cent's Million Dollar White Lightning. Forget his birth name. 50 Cent dropped a cool 1.5 million on something far more flashy, his very own jet car. Inspired by a wild mix of fighter jets, Formula One racers, and spaceships, 50 Cent enlisted the Parker Brothers, custom car wizards from Dream Machine, to build his dream ride. While the show documented the creation process, the exact specs remain a mystery. One thing's for sure, White Lightning, as 50 Cent affectionately named it, is built for speed and head-turning entrances. The low-riding design promises easy maneuvering, important for city streets, and those oversized DeSanti wheels add undeniable curb appeal. Top it all off with a touchscreen display and a rumored top speed exceeding 250 miles per hour, the White Lightning is guaranteed to cause a stir, maybe even a traffic jam or two. Number 5. Kanye West's Head-Turning Lamborghini Urus Kanye West isn't afraid to make a statement, 
and his car choices are no exception. His custom Lamborghini Urus divided opinions with its bold design. The Urus, known for its aggressive angles and head-turning looks, received a Kanye-sized twist. He opted for a unique cream-colored vinyl wrap, swapped the stock wheels for monoblock ones, and accented the factory gray leather interior with pops of blue. So how much did this customized ride cost? The base Urus itself starts at a hefty $200,000. Kanye's customizations likely added around $10,000, with estimates including a $5,000 wrap job, $2,000 wheels, and interior accents. Hey, if it makes him happy, right? Number 4. Kevin Hart's Hellraiser From Crash to 1000 Horsepower Heaven Kevin Hart's 1970 Plymouth Cuda crashed in 2019 with a major bummer, especially since it was a one-of-a-kind car. But there's a silver lining. He replaced it with an even more monstrous machine, a 1970 Dodge Charger nicknamed Hellraiser. The wizards at Speed Core Performance Group didn't mess around. They ripped out the standard Hellcat engine and swapped it for a fire-breathing Mopar Hellophant Create motor, pumping out a mind-blowing 1,000 horsepower. That's nearly 300 more than the original Hellcat. To handle all that power, Speedcore crafted a custom frame with a built-in roll cage for safety. They also threw in a C6 Corvette-inspired front suspension and a Ford-derived rear end for maximum performance. The interior got a custom makeover to match the car's beastly spirit, and a throaty aftermarket exhaust completes the package. Interestingly, Hellraiser retains the standard Hellcat's 8-speed automatic transmission. Maybe even 1,000 horsepower needs a little control. Number 3. Lady Gaga's Unexpected Ride, a 1993 Ford F-150 Lightning Forget extravagant supercars, Lady Gaga defines expectations yet again, this time with her choice of wheels. Instead of a flashy Rolls-Royce or a head-turning Ferrari, the pop icon cruises around in a classic 1993 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. While she could easily drop millions on a car, Lady Gaga went for a reliable vintage option, likely costing her somewhere between $30,000 and $40,000. But according to The Drive, this wasn't just about saving money. The SVT Lightning, originally produced from 1993 to 1995, with a later comeback at 1999, holds a special place in the hearts of car enthusiasts. This cult classic truck boasts a powerful 5.8-liter V8 engine with a heavy-duty transmission, making it a true performer. The single-cab version, like Gaga's, adds a touch of nostalgia to the mix. Finding one in such pristine condition is a major win for the singer. The Ford isn't her only ride, though. Lady Gaga's collection also includes an El Camino, a Mercedes-Benz, and a Ford Bronco. But there's something undeniably special about her trusty Lightning. Number 2. Elon Musk's Wet Willy – From 007 to Reality Elon Musk, the mastermind behind Tesla's high-priced electric cars, has a unique taste in vehicles. Forget fancy Teslas, his personal collection boasts something far more extraordinary and slightly less practical a Lotus Esprit Submarine, also known as Wet Willy. This isn't your average car. Wet Willy is a piece of James Bond movie history, a prop car that stole hearts in the 1997 film The Spy Who Loved Me. As a Motor Biscuit article details, the car's fate remained a mystery after filming until a lucky couple stumbled upon it in 1989. Imagine their surprise when they unlocked a storage unit they bought for a mere $100 and discovered Wet Willy hidden beneath a pile of blankets. Needless to say, they didn't hold on to the movie magic for long. The car eventually landed at a Sotheby's auction, where Musk scooped it up for a cool $997,000. While the car didn't quite live up to its film counterpart's underwater transformation abilities, much to Musk's disappointment, he has hinted at plans to make that a reality. Only time will tell if Wet Willy will truly dive into the deep end. Number 1. Shaquille O'Neal's Slingshot Shaquille O'Neal, famed for his outstanding athletic skills and towering 7'1 stature, became enamored with a Polaris Slingshot. To suit his unique physique, he commissioned a custom version. 
dubbed the Sling Shack, the vehicle was extended to ensure Shack could comfortably sit behind the wheel. It was also transformed into a four-seater with the addition of two rear seats. The customization included an upgraded interior featuring kilted seats with red accent piping and a bespoke sound system. The finishing touches included a striking bright red paint job and matching five-spoke wheels. While the exact extent of the modifications to fit Shaq's frame remains unknown, the result was definitely a slam dunk. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.